hiked several of those spots last weekend, like all on the yeah. same day. I, I pretty much, yes, I did kind of hit several of them. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, there's a good color spot. There's a good spot. So uh, it made it easy to kind of come up with a good list. Yes, and, and your your videos and TikToks and all the things, right? <laughs> yes, you know, <laughs> Along always, the way. <laughs> always creating the content for folks at home who might be less fortunate to, to get out and about and enjoy the fall foliage that we're seeing here across the Pacific Northwest. But I got to tell you, it's really hard to take a bad photo here because we are just surrounded by so much beauty. And these are just a few of the sites I was able to spot just yesterday of the fall colors already starting to make their appearance snow, but we don't see the peak fall foliage, at least for the I-5 quarter until we get to the middle of October. That takes us all the way into about Halloween and then even bleeds over into the first and second week of November for some of us as the cloud coverage makes it feel a little bit more like the fall season at this point in time as we take a live look out over downtown Portland. 59 degrees is where we currently sit, but you'll notice a lot more sunshine as we work our way through the rest of this afternoon and temperatures approaching 70 degrees. Eventually we'll start to see a northwesterly wind kick up and that will help to kind of mix out some of that cloud coverage as we see just a little bit of reduced visibility for parts of the Columbia River Gorge, the foothills of the Cascades, but also seeing improvements out along the coast as our skies remain cloudy right now. It will eventually break down as we move our way through the rest of the afternoon hours and into the evening time frame. You can see here those northerly winds helping to clear out our skies guys as high pressure continues to build just offshore. That's going to be our drying mechanism, but also returning the sunshine for much of the Pacific Northwest. Now this is the surface level as we zoom out, look into the upper layers of the atmosphere. You'll notice that the jet stream creates this nice ridge or hill, and that is the gatekeeper between the warm air to the south and the cool air to the north, thus bringing back summer 2.0 just in time for the week's end. But as far as the 90 degree temperatures go, we have seen them in Portland as late as October 5th. That was back in 1980, but typically we see them come to a close on September 5th. So no 90s in the forecast here for the next several days for those summer lovers, but we do get back up into the 80s well above what's normal this time of year, which is 70 degrees. Tomorrow we fall to 69 as that average, but comparing them with where our records currently stand, you'll know Saturday that's 83. Last set back in 2014, a forecasted high the low 80s puts us just a degree shy of potentially tying that record, if not even surpassing it. But by Halloween, that new average daytime high temperature below 60 degrees. So here's your timeline with the future casting those clearing skies as we work our way through the rest of this afternoon and into the evening. Plentiful clear conditions for the overnight hours, but you'll notice some of those winds out of the east being picked up by the time we get into Thursday and Friday. That will help to increase our temperature as we roll our way into the week's end and also keep our skies dry and sunny. So for today, those clouds slowly breaking apart. We approach 70 degrees with a north wind at about three to five miles per hour tonight. Mostly clear conditions 55 for that overnight low and our seven day forecast does show the return of some sunshine Thursday, Friday wind gusts out of the east could near anywhere from 20 to 25 miles per hour as you go up in elevation closer to about 30 to 35 miles per hour. Thus the warmer temperatures roll us into Saturday. It's far and few between where we get two back to back weekends in the month of October with bright blue sunny skies and just as the new work week starts, we fall back into the 60s mm -hmm. and see the fall rains once again return. So overall, not too bad of a seven day, a little bit of everything for everybody. I, some, something for everyone. If you like the rain, you got that. Yeah, do you have big plans this weekend? Uh, no, I don't. Oh. Other than just trying to soak up the last bit of sunshine yeah. before next week. Maybe getting going on more hikes to get more pictures. Yes, yeah. you'll see the photos. Okay, <laughs> we'll be right back with more news and weather. Stick around.